morning everyone welcome to thursday ricky mountain concert tonight so excited for that if by chance you're here just to see some concert footage there is a link below well in the description box below i have the time that i start that footage if you don't want to follow along with the rest of my day but it is just after 5 30 i think i woke up about five now I kind of had the plan, I'm an early riser, as you guys who have been here for a long time know. Um, five o'clock, that's quite normal. But I actually stayed up to 10.30 last night, which I know seems like funny to some. But I stayed up to 10.30, I think Kev went to bed at 8, and off at 8.30, 9 inches when we got to bed. And I've been falling asleep really punctually lately, so I thought, okay, I'll stay up. I watched YouTube till about 9.30, I think, or 10, maybe, quarter to 10. And then when I went to bed and I read for a bit. I was enjoying a book. About 10, I think that's probably quite late enough. Um, so I went to sleep, thinking, hoping I'd get my normal seven and a half hours, but I didn't. I only got six and a half hours, so I don't quite know whether it was a good choice to stay up later. I probably should have gone to bed my normal time, had seven and a half hours sleep and woke up at four. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> see how the day unfolds, I guess. I don't think I'm that sleep deprived that I'm going to need a nap, but driving home at midnight is going to be a bit of a not ideal, I don't believe. <laughs> so if I get tired later on, I might try and take a nap, but I don't tend to nap very well. So I'm just um, brewing a cup of tea and heating my heat pack for my back. Back's kind of all right today, but where I sit, I'm going to watch some cycling now, where I sit to watch the cycling, it's Kevin's seat and it hurts my back so I'll just use the heat pack and that will warm me up a bit too because it's a bit cool down here but it'll warm me up without oh, wobbly without me having to put the heater on so oh I show you my new little teapot it will be in a haul coming up but this is my new teapot I in Kiki K yesterday and they had a sale on and I like this one because it's got the filter like I love my other one but it hasn't got a filter. This is actually a big one, so I don't have to fill it up. I've just got to just go over the tea, and that will be enough. I probably won't even use all that tea. That's probably the only problem with this one. It's probably a little bit big for what I need. And that's filling up my big mugs, but isn't it gorgeous? I'm just packing up Kevin's lunch. So today he's going to have a toasted sandwich. So I've just buttered the bread, got his cheese and pineapple to put on when he gets to work. And this is one of those La Zupa Tom Yum soup, so just got eggs boiled water to that. It's got a boiled egg, grapes, a sweet treat, one of his bounce bars, and his favourite yogurt with the oats. <laughs> so it's all packed up, and I've decided to put a banana in as well for him. He's got quite a bit of fruit today. As you can see, I've started to bring down my exercise weights. I'm either going to put them in the bottom of that cupboard or in there, but obviously, there's stuff in those cupboards at the minute, so. Um, I might even shove it in the spa room for now, <laughs> so it's not out there, but it's away. They used to be in the coffee table, but I made the coffee table really heavy, so I don't really want to put them back in there. But that's where they were at one stage. I did all my weights down here. I guess that would work for now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. What are you doing? Well, as you can see, I'm at my walk. <laughs> I totally forgot I was vlogging, so I didn't bring my normal camera. So just filming on my phone looks really grey over there hopefully we'll make it back or we'll miss the rain somehow or other but the puppies are happy to be out on a walk anyway oh, I see the doggy's friend up ahead the little golden they'll be happy come on haven't seen him for ages hot and tired after that walk Bally's have a drink of water I need a drink of water I'm so dry um, just a minute, I'll have, I'll have a sip first. You know, had a really nice walk and their friend uh, Shane was down there, so Bailey went and had a run with Shane. Rosie, just not interested in other dogs, she really doesn't care for them. <laughs> Rosie met another border collie and like, Rosie, like, she turned away from them, like, like, I'm pretending that dog's not there. Like, she's good now, she doesn't get aggressive anymore, she's a bark and lunge at dogs now, she sort of accepts they're out on their walk, but... She isn't going to acknowledge her. <laughs> She's so funny. But yeah, it was nice to catch up with the Shane's owner and I've forgotten her name, which is terrible. But I haven't seen her for months, so but that was nice to have a chat. She's a lovely lady. I'm gonna get some more wood now. Sit down, cool down. I had sort of half thought maybe hop on the exercise bike or do some weights, but like I'm 
I'm pretty shattered after that now. So I think I just need to ease myself back into things, walking for a few weeks and then maybe look at doing some weights and stuff as I improve my fitness because my fitness level I think is really, really bad. But I get really short of breath anyway at the minute. So partly fitness and partly something else to do with the fibro, I imagine. Anyway, I don't even know what my plans for the day are yet. So I'm going to watch some more cycling and then I'll see what we... <laughs> So I don't want to overdo things today because I want to be, you know, really at my best for the concert tonight. So I probably won't do a lot. I'm really trying to work on having breakfast earlier. And since it's already 8.30, I thought before I sit down, I will organise my breakfast. Um, I shouldn't, I know I should have a green smoothie, but I don't feel like one. It's like, even though I'm hot, it's, you know, out there, it's overcast and wintry like. So the other option would have been to um, make a protein pancake but that requires a little bit more effort than just putting a jaffle together so just gone with the jaffle today and um maybe next time i'll try and whip up the ingredients for the um waffles or pancake we're making and um actually just cook them when i get home so i've got options i've just got to be more organized but i'm getting there this is taking time it's definitely a go slow kind of morning but as you can see i am now dressed I have my shower did half my makeup i just do like the the basics and I'll do my eyes later on um so that's the uh, guys just finished doing the water sealing in the girls shower that leaked so I think in 24 hours they can use that shower again so they'll, they'll be happy about that um they've been having to do our shower or have a bath um so I'm kind of like oh don't know what to do I might quickly go over and say hello to mum and dad probably shouldn't because it will take longer to finish actually I've got the cycling to finish I've got the last few bits um I got sidetracked looking for reviews on the cruise we're doing. We've already booked on it, but anyway, the boat's just out of dry dock, so I wanted to read up on it a little bit, see how it's going. It seems to be okay. <laughs> uh, that's what you do, isn't it? Uh, so I might finish watching the cycling, then go see mum and dad, and then I'll I'll get out my book and see. Actually, let's go see what's next in the um, life-changing magic of tidying up and um, see if it's a project I want to actually tackle today. Yeah, they've got 1.6 kilometers to ride, but I think it is uphill. So. And this charger must be disconnected because it's not charging and it's quite flat. So, oh. I usually look at it this way, oh, there we go. Why won't it go this vertical? There we go, okay. No, I don't want reader, I want Kindle. I've done the books, so you'll see that soon. Oh, sorting papers. Ugh. I don't know I'm up to doing that today, maybe tomorrow for that one, because that's going to be a big job. Again, that is the big problem with a two-story house and a large two-story house. Things are spread out everywhere. So that will mean I'll have to go into the study upstairs. I don't want to do that. I know I've got a lot of paperwork, old account and stuff, which, as you said, I probably don't need anymore. I think I've finished watching this race. Have another cup of tea and then I'll, I'll think about it. I'm not motivated today, obviously. But I do get for my walk. A lot of planes flying around. Oh, the air shows on this weekend. I bet they're doing like a trial practice or something. That's the second aircraft I've heard. We were planning to go, but now Thinner's got a friend sleeping over, friend Harriet. So, and I'm also a bit, mm, about crowds and it's going to be busy and I'm going I don't know really I don't really want to go Kevin hasn't mentioned it <laughs> but it's in the diary so it's not like he's going to forget it but yeah it's like oh I don't know I don't want to go anymore I did Hearing the planes makes me want to go. I remember one uh, one of our trips, we our first trip, we went to um, England and Scotland, and we went to England, we went to Norwich, we went to an RAF base in Norwich, and we didn't care about the museum, we just wanted to see the planes taken off. <laughs> so we're trying to peek out and just keep watching them. We're more interested in those. Love watching planes take off and land. Um, so, hmm, 
I don't know, now I want to go to the museum. The museum, the, the show. Why does my desk always end up like this? And I know there's some notes on there Christy needs to take into school. She told me the other day she had to take it in the next day, and that's like a couple of days ago, so I might try at least tidy up my desk. I think I think we'll have a day of pottering. Considering it's 10 30 already. <laughs> yep, look, my little I call him my cycling buddy. Watch the cycling together. And as soon as I sit down here, he wants to come up beside me. He's so funny. Where is he over there? <laughs> we all sit together. I can reach her. Oh, he's going now. Oh, that's rude. Well, that was exciting because my team just won. Or okay, Green Edge is our Australian team. I don't think he's, he's not an Australian. He won it, but <laughs> that's my team. So that's exciting. Guess what? I'm still sitting here. Partly because of this little boy. He's all settled beside me. And partly because I was just um, reading reviews. I'm reading reviews on Voyager of the Seas, which is what I went on last year. I was just trying to see if that improved the things that we were concerned about. Um, but overall, we had the things that we were complaining about last year. Overall, we still had a really good crew, so... I guess I'm a little bit concerned about us being that it's not just a Christmas cruise, but it's Christmas, New Year's, and what sort of crowd that will bring. My feet are freezing. I'm going to have to get my bed socks, <laughs> which I actually brought down, so that's good. So, washing's finished. I'll go and sort that out. I'm going to close the house back up again because it's cooled down. Um, Kevin just rang me about the air show because um, I think you need to pre buy tickets or it's cheaper to pre buy tickets, and he's going, like, What do we do? Uh, and I said, oh, I don't really know, I really want to go. And he said, oh, I was a bit the same. So that was easy, we'd not go on. It's turned so cold, I've decided I'm going to make some soup. I I'm just a bit lost today. I, just, I don't know what to do. Um, <laughs> tea, but this soup won't take long. It's a, a sweet potato. And, oh, I haven't got bun up pumpkin. What am I thinking? Can't do that soup. Get right up on the soup. So I'm going to just tackle a little paper tidy up. I'm going to do a bit of paper I've got there and I'm going to tidy up my desk. And then I'll see if I'm inspired to do anything else. I'm thinking not today. It's a really wish-washy day, isn't it? I'm just looking through the Kmart catalogue and I think I might need to go to Kmart. They've got some really cute things, although maybe I shouldn't go to Kmart so I don't buy the really cute things. <laughs> oh, I'm sitting here looking at like bills and things you paid. I've lost a half a bill. Um, I blame Kevin. It was mail that Kevin opened. <laughs> so I'm going to blame him. Um, cause we've got two gas bills. One was a credit and one was a current account to pay, but I've lost the first page, which actually tells me how much I have to pay. I've got the credit one, but not the other one. I guess they'll send me a reminder that they haven't paid it. But I was anyway just, just thought I'd give you a few people to ask, I think, about how my budget was going. Well, pretty much isn't. It's just. I think I probably in theory have stuck to it because I've not been shopping until yesterday <laughs> where I went shopping. Um, I haven't been really shopping besides groceries and our grocery budget I'm pretty sure will be well over. Maybe not because I adjusted it because the first budget was just ridiculous for the groceries. So I had adjusted it but I haven't really kept track. But I've not been, like the last two Mondays I haven't taken out my weekly money. So now I've got my visa but I should have enough money to pay it. But I've not, I just don't know, that budget... It wasn't just, it just wasn't working. Um, I don't know, so I've just been paying, the main thing was to pay more off the mortgage, which we're doing, and I guess if at the end of the day, I've got enough money to do everything, that's okay. Obviously I need somewhere to close, I had to buy them. Mum uh, bought Athena some things yesterday. I bought a robe for Kevin, which was expensive. He wanted a new winter robe, and the one I bought him last time was just like a cheap one from from Target, I think, but it was um, polyester, and he said it was all static and clingy, and he never liked it. So he had it for a few days, he's never really worn it. He persists on wearing his little summer one all through winter, and then he's cold. So I thought, well, I better go. He doesn't, he doesn't ask for very much at all, Kevin, so I thought, I better go and buy him a robe. And I was $100 to get him a cotton robe. He said, make sure it's cotton. So we did, we got him one yesterday, it was $100. But um, Athena, um, apparently had to give me a gift voucher. I'd given her money for a gift voucher or something. So that was $75, which I'd totally forgotten. So I used that to pay for it. So it only cost me 25 So that was all right. I've been trying to buy, I did buy an expensive jacket yesterday. You'll see an upcoming haul. Oh, you might have said tonight, because I think I'll be wearing it tonight. But 
I need a jacket and it'll be one that that should be for jackets I've got I've got a few jackets I've got that is a really warm jacket for a cold day um, and you need to have that so I, I was I felt like that was a splurge but time to put up my new calendar I don't know if I ever showed this to you guys let me find last month so what I do I just stick up a blank calendar and then I write what we've actually had for dinner if I remember as you can see some blank spaces there just I don't really know why but sometimes looking back it can give me an idea of um of things like even patterns in what we eat or phases and sometimes I go back through like I've been doing this for years actually and I'll go oh yeah we went for a run of having this and we haven't had this you know particular dish for ages and it might remind me of it I don't know I kind of like it as a record <laughs> we used to eat takeaway so much it was absolutely crazy um you know in a number of times a week so that's what annoys me like I was probably a little bit heavier than I am now, but not a lot. But like, we don't have takeaway much. We don't eat anything like I used to eat and I weigh pretty much the same. Like, ah, oh, it's not fair. Um, I got away, kind of got away with it, I guess, back then. I don't now, I don't know, when I was very big. But I eat probably half of what I used to eat and I'm still the same weight, it's not fair. Anyway. That's a little side. Anyway, I was just changing over to May and I thought I would show you that. And then below that, I have my weekly menu plan. Yeah, which of course, as like always, I'm not actually going to be sticking to because we didn't have the yellow curry last night. We might do that on fr tomorrow night on Friday night instead of the enchiladas because enchiladas are a little bit fiddly. And we'll see how we go the rest of the week. And then that's my grocery list there. I'll wait for Bailey to finish having a drink. Moose has got a toy there. Oh no, she's dropped it. So that's when evident mum and dad's for a while. Probably a bit longer than I planned to be, but anyway. He said it wasn't matter. Now it's Rosie's turn for a drink. Oh, they've been outside. I think they ended up coming over and um, the dogs are outside, so they're probably thirsty. Uh, anyway, lunch. I don't know what to have. I don't feel like a salad. I actually found, a, I might do this for dinner, for lunch. So I found this in there before. Corn pasta bake, I might just do that. That'll be easy and yummy. This isn't what I thought it was. I thought it was a bolognese sauce. But anyway, it'll still be nice. <laughs> Just not what I was expecting. It does say, it does say what it is. It's, um, it says corn pasta bake. And I just saw the, I just thought it was a bolognese and pasta for some reason. Time to go get Christy. Oh, it's lovely out there. It's going to be gorgeous for a drive up to Sydney. And yes, I've done nothing. I don't even know what I was doing online. I started watching one video and that was it. So I'm way behind on YouTube yet again. I don't know. I haven't been wanting to watch as much. I don't know. I, I keep getting sidetracked. They're all on Facebook. I don't know what I was doing on Facebook because I very rarely go on Facebook anymore. And then I end up reading the DDP Yoga Facebook page. I've been stuck on there for a while and following a few links off on things like that. Because I kind of want to get back on track with that. <laughs> get, get started really. I didn't get very far did I the first time around. I'd like to get back to that. But once I get my walking a bit more established. <laughs> well, I don't want to take Bailey because it's raining. You know, maybe his head out and he want his head out and it's cold. So I might just leave you here with Athena. Okay. It's raining yucky. I picked up Christy and on the way there and back I was listening to Ricky Martin so and loudly as Christy said she could and I said this isn't that loud compared to the concert she goes this is not really loud <laughs> so now I'm really in the mood <laughs> so I'm actually just going to sit and make a playlist of the songs he'll probably do at the concert so that they can listen to them um because he's got so many songs and like I've got all of them even the Spanish only albums I have I've been a fan for a long long time this will be my third time seeing Ricky Martin um Actually, you guys, some of you might have even been around the last time I saw him when I was vlogging. Um, was it last year or the year before? I think it was the year before, but I'm sure some of you might have remembered that. <laughs> I am dressed and ready for the concert. I'm a bit of a clothing disaster because it's cold and I have only a few warmish tops and no pants suitable for this weather. So, <laughs> and I don't really have anything suitable for a concert. So this is what we're going with. I look... I don't know, I feel like a bag lady. I'm sure it's not quite so bad as what I feel like, but I have to be comfortable. So I'm wearing this new striped top. I'm not sure if you've seen it. You'll see it in a clothing haul soon. These are my summer pants. So I went wearing all through summer, so they're very thin. 
and yes crocs on the feet not a good look i actually had um my boots or black shoes on solid black shoes on and i hadn't even walked anywhere and my feet already killed me so i thought i can't wear them i've got a practical so these are what it is it looks yeah kind of ridiculous Maybe my makeup can make up for a little bit of how ridiculous. I don't know. I think everything's just a big fail. But as I was trying to say to my mum and to Christy, the only one who cares how you look when you go to a concert is yourself. <laughs> so I know no one is going to notice me at the concert. Although um, I do look a bit ridiculous, so maybe they will. Anyway, <laughs> I should have looked harder for an outfit yesterday. But I thought it was going to be warmer. And I've, I've had a few things I could have worn. But alas... But the thing is, you know, in the concert, it's going to be warm. That's why I just want to wear a t-shirt. But um, anyway, so makeup hopefully looks okay. I went with um, this Wet n Wild. Um, Blue had me at Hello, and I used this side. And I've got my favorite Roberto Cavalli perfume on. And this is the Natio lipstick. And it's all worn off, so I don't even know what it is. <laughs> it's one of the lip stains. And I don't bother with jewellery except for these earrings. And I have no idea where I got them from. I've had them for a while. so. And I ended up pulling my hair back. I wasn't going to. And I thought, oh, we'll just complete the daggy look with my hair pulled back like this. And I've got a bit sticking out of the back. <laughs> it's all about being comfortable. And this is my first time using my concert bag. You might recall I bought this when we were in, um, on our Noosa holiday. So I can get to use it tonight. Jewellery to go. I've got Nan. Wave Nan. That's Nan and Athena I think and Christy. And we have some puppies, but they're not coming to the concert. <laughs> so we're heading off now. Grandma. See you up there. Oh, we are here. We made it. Are you excited, Christy? <laughs> I'm shaking, which means yeah. Excited. Yeah, unfortunately, Athena didn't make it, so it's just the three of us now for the show. There are not many vegetarian options for dinner. There was a vegetable quiche, but I had that last time. I didn't enjoy it that much, so I've just gone with the hot chips tonight.
from the concert. We're actually home before midnight because we ended up leaving before the concert had finished. Mum was a bit concerned about getting up the stairs and um, the concert, I don't know. I really enjoyed it, especially the first part, but the crowd was like dead. Like no one was up dancing. The people next to me kind of did a bit. So when they would get up, I would get up because I just didn't feel comfortable being the only one up and having people behind a bit of sea. And so it was a bit awkward. And like by the time everyone started dancing at the end, I was pretty much finished. And he did a lot of um, a lot of Spanish songs and a lot of older stuff. And I was actually surprised because he asked people whose was their first concert of his, and so many people put their hand up. I was surprised, but yet they knew none of his music. So that was probably why it was a bit of a, an odd crowd. I'm guessing um, for you that aren't in Australia, he hosts it. I think it's X Factor. I don't actually watch it. I think it's X Factor the host. So thinking about a lot of people see him on that and like him but they don't actually know his music. So it was a kind of an odd, really odd concert experience. It was no one knew as good as the last time, but the last time we went, the girls in front of us, the ladies in front of us, when we got them, we sat down, they were bubbly turning around talking to us. Oh, we're gonna be up dancing. So like, thinking, oh, well, that's great. Cause the weekend then too. Um, and like we were sort of part of their group. <laughs> so that was really fun, but didn't get that this time. It was, yeah, it was odd, but it was, I still really enjoyed it. It was just, it wasn't as good as it could have been. And I think even the, it was a totally different concert to last time and I thought it would have been, some of it would have been the same, but it was a totally new show, which I guess is good. But then I think because of that, um, maybe the song selections weren't quite as good. But like in his first, he opened with his new song and no one knew it. I did, but. <laughs> That's not one of my favorite songs of his, but it's one with Pitbull, but. Like no one knew it. I'm like, well, why? Why do people go to concerts and not know the songs? I was, I thought that was really odd. But I guess the people I go to see in concert, there's only probably like half a dozen, and I know all their songs, and I still get their new songs that come out. So I'm obviously the unusual one in, in that. Um, <laughs> but anyway, it was a good night. Um, unfortunately, Athena wasn't feeling up to coming tonight, so she sort of. Um, changed her mind at the last minute about coming. So that was a bit of a shame. And I put a little bit of a dampener on things with mum and that, but anyway. I think we all had a good night. Um, so I'm heading off to bed now. I've got to take my makeup off and um, I'm, I'm hungry. You know, hot chips, that was a bit pathetic, wasn't it? Um, none of the, again, the concert wasn't sold out. So most of the venues weren't open, but I've had nice noodles there before and there's a pizza place that was all shut. So, um, one thing was good, I was getting a headache, so I went actually after dinner, I went to the first aid store and saw if I could get some, they had some Panadol, I had to sign my life away to get it kind of thing, but um, that was good, so my headache didn't develop, it was one at the back of my head, so it was a bit of an odd one, um, but it didn't develop slightly there now, and I've got a slight sinus one, but it didn't get too bad, so that was really good. Anyway, enough chatting for me, I'm going to get myself to bed, and... I don't know when I'll see you guys next. Might have a few days off or I might be back very soon. I don't know. Anyway, I didn't even get a lot of concert footage tonight. I got a bit. So I hope you enjoyed what there was. And I'll see you all again real soon. Good night. Bye.